What's going on, everybody? Happy week two of the NFL. We're in the second half of the games already, so I figured I'd get this video done now instead of waiting until uh, tonight on to everything. First off, thank you everybody for coming in last night. I think at one time frame we had 60 people in for the uh, fix uh, pricing slash auction that we hosted last night, myself and Joey. Thank you everybody who was able to come in, um, contribute to the chat. Everybody that bought something as well too, thank you. Uh, for my end, everything you guys should have tracking on, it's going out tomorrow with a pickup uh, from the USPS. If you don't have that tracking, either uh, check the PayPal. If it's not on there, check if you went through the store. And it should have tracking updated in there. It should have kicked an email out just in case it goes people spams. Um, if you still don't see it, just hit me up on email. I'll get you that tracking number. All right, guys, let's move into the video for today. If you guys remember, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about where the Altoona card shop got robbed. Well, so happens just because I'm from out that area, stuff like pops up on my news feeds. So let's take a look here. Boom. There we go. So we got a picture. That's the mug shot. And this is as of September uh, 17th. I meant to put this out yesterday, but I was trying to get everything ready for the... Uh, live stream that night so Trafford man has been taken to custody with the Tuesday's robbery at um, the card shop that was in Altoona if we come down here it talks about the guy and everything like that there from my understanding he took a lot of low-end stuff like he didn't know what he was grabbing <laughs> from what I understand from people that um, are from that area and visit that local card shop so, not too sure, you know, what all was going on, but still, somebody tried to rob the store. Well, they did rob it, now they're caught. So, another good uh, thing that they found, who did it, I believe everything's being returned to the owner. From my understanding, I guess there was like a little bit of a standoff um, where the guy was on his roof, and... But they, they got everything on to it. If you guys wanted more of a read-up on to it, it'll be down in the description on to all this. Uh, he, there it is. Attempted to flee officers on bicycle was quickly taken into custody, at which time he confessed to the robbery. I mean, he took off on bicycle. I mean, I grew up out that way, so I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Uh, I told police that the box of sports cards which he had opened were inside his residence, and as well as the sweatshirt he was wearing. I believe everything else we had on when he was still from the, when he robbed the place, from what I understood from the whole thing. Uh, let's see here. It says, admitted that the gun he used in the robbery was real and loaded. And it looks like, says, uh, the investigators say this, that he had a stolen the gun from a residence in Greensburg, which is right next to where I grew up at in Latrobe, and then hid it in a duplex near his home. He also discarded the hat, face coverings, and gloves used during the crime. It, it just goes on and on and on to it. Um, just really... He wear his bail, four hundred thousand dollars and everything. So they end up catching him with surveillance, everything matched up onto it. Kind of a good news story in some ways. Um it's still a tragedy whenever somebody gets robbed, scammed, or whatever it may be out there. But at least with this here, you know, some justice is gonna be served. Let's just hope that the justice that's served does not end up being like what happened with the national or was it not the Nash? Yeah, the National back in 2018. And somebody made a good comment on to that. That the reason why that guy's charges may have been dropped is that, you know, he gave them more information to lead to more arrest on his bigger stuff. And I never really thought about that offhand. So, if you go back to where that video is, um, it is very possible that... The guy that was doing all the autos, I, I forget what he said, it was like novelty items or something like that. And he got his charges dropped, which was shocking. I mean, I, I was still in, I'm still in shock over, but then I saw a comment where somebody said something about where he may have given up information or leads to where they're like, hey, we'll dismiss all these charges, you give us that. Makes sense, I mean... It's a deal to get, you know, the bigger fish down the road on to it. But a lot, a lot of bad things have happened this year in the hobby. But I'll tell you this much. This is the most I've seen with people getting caught. 
Um, we had the guy that set up the sting operation up in Cincinnati for uh, uh, scamming somebody. You got two people busted at card shows, one to Dallas and then one at the National. You guys all seen those videos. This card shop got robbed. Oh, I'm trying to think. There, there's probably more that's just not really hitting, you know, into my head because, you know, normally I, I joke around with some people onto this. I, it's, I know it's not a joking around situation, but I say this stuff always happens in spurts. It kind of reminded me of an old saying when I was like a small kid that they always said like deaths in the family ran in threes. And the more I start thinking about it, I'm like, man, you know, you could change that around and be like a lot of these scam videos pop up in groups of three. Like when one hits, there's usually like, you know, two or maybe even three more afterwards. It's not an isolated situation. And a lot of it's due to people speaking up onto, you know, what they're seeing wrong, what's bad, looking out for each other, which is a positive thing for the hobby is that, you know, people are looking out for each other out there, and that's the best thing you can really do. You know, you might be able to walk up to somebody, you know, and she'll be like, hey, man, that card's trimmed, it's on blowout, don't buy it. You know, something just as simple as that. Not make a big scene over, go up, oh, man, it's a trimmed car, blah, 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 you know, cause a commotion, a scene, when a dealer might not even know it's trimmed, or the guy selling it to the dealer, whatever it may be. But if you don't show it, tell somebody on the side, show them the proof, you know, it's up to them what they do after that. But... Yeah, I wanted to just bring this up because I know we talked about, and I believe I talked about one of the overtimes too, or somewhere. It might not have been overtime. It might have just been one of my casual conversations, but I wanted to update everybody. Yeah, they caught the guy. Um, and, you know, with that being said, you know, it's just another one that's caught in a chain of either theft, robbery, whatever it may be out there. But... I'll put, the like I said, a link to the article if anybody's interested in reading through the whole thing. It'll be on there. But other than that, I will catch you guys this week for some more videos. Don't forget, Bowman Chrome drops with me on Wednesday evening. As soon as it comes in, I'll get everything put in a store. And then I'll do a video just to let you guys know, too. It's out there. Um, it'll be Hobby and HTA. And then we're back, myself, Joey, live on uh, Friday night with uh, Overtime. And if anybody else wants to jump in on the Zooms with us, just hit me up on email. And I'll give you guys the email to click on the Zoom to come in. You just got to build a free Zoom account. It doesn't charge you. Mine's the paid subscription. It's kind of like you're piggybacking and mine meaning you have to pay for nothing, if that makes sense. Alright, everybody. Take care. Have a good week. Enjoy the rest of the football out there. Gronk's already destroyed it today for me for uh, um, DraftKings. So I'm kind of happy with him and Cup. Alright. Talk to y'all later.